Hi, my name is Christina, and we're here at CRC, the Chicago location. We have visitors today for a tour from Harlan Community Academy High School, and we're about to begin our tour. Please join us. CTA comes to peace one. We deliver them to the CTA. Off the um, the court, the, the freight things. Right, they go on the freight. You guys, they probably have more information. <laughs> Come on in, you know, all right? <laughs> Your question's all right. Yeah. I look like I knew, right? That's okay. How you doing? I'm, my name is Carlos Avila. I am the facilities and maintenance manager of CRRC. Um, what question did you have? I have one more question. This is for that. I'm going to pull up. I know this might not seem right. Good, but like, are there actually people that control the train? Cause I've never seen. It. <laughs> like, when I get on the train, I just get on like at the, if I get on like, the last car or something, I'll look and I'll see nobody like driving the train. I've never seen nobody like that. Yeah, there's people driving. Gotta look at the very first car. There should be oh, some yeah. conductors there all the time, like uh, <laughs> driving cars. We still have to have an operator there just to make well, sure everything's running. Like, which the first, is this? The first, the first one. Should be the first one, and it, it actually goes in one direction and it comes back on the other direction. Like, maybe pop my head out the window. <laughs> and and for, for this, <clears throat> for for this project here with the CTA, we are transferring these rail cars on on trucks to CTA, which they will be lifted up on with cranes and put on the tracks. Okay. So, so like. I know this is like a newer train car, but have you guys made like previous train cars and well, how many? Like well, CRC it is, is a world-renowned uh, uh, high-speed train and rail car manufacturer. And this is the first time that they've entered the market in the United States. Oh. Okay. So, so they do a lot of, if you look at TRC, if you look at the website, you'll see a lot of high-speed bullet train type deals that, that you see uh, uh, being constructed all over the world. Uh, South America. Uh, Africa, I think Europeans, uh, various spots around the world. This is the first market that they're coming in here uh, because of the other rail car manufacturers in the United States are getting limited. So now they're outsourcing out to everywhere else in the world to see who can make us the best rail cars uh, for Chicago So you don't know how long you possibly will be making these <laughs> well, right now, this contract, I believe it's uh, ten, 10 years. 10 years. So we're going to replace every single rail car on the CTA, which is oh, all the rail wow. car. So it's fine. I think it's <laughs> <laughs> 800 and uh, 30 miles. Yeah. 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 So it's 846 cars mm -hmm. over 10 years, and that will replace every single rail car that's on the, any rail line in Chicago. So we will have the most, most newest and high tech rail cars in the United States. Wow. Over 10 years. <laughs> yeah. But they're going to be, be incorporating them within those 10 years as we move along. They're going to keep switching them out. So where were the first? Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. No, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, yeah. Are CTA and Pace connected in any kind of way? Say that again? Are CTA and Pace, like, are they connected? No, they're not. CTA is, is strictly Chicago. Uh, Pace is from different uh, municipalities. Uh, municipalities. So CTA is being funded by all the property taxes and stuff like that within the city limits. Okay, did you say new high tech, like the best one? Okay, so what are going to be on these trains that makes them better than the last one? A lot of communication with every aspect of the rail car. Location, stopping, uh, distance to stop, uh, how fast it's going, uh, um, the speed when they go into the turns, um, communication with the hub to the rail car. So there's a lot more aspects in it that I probably don't even know because I'm just silly for here. <laughs> but the rail car uh, um, workers and engineers probably know a little bit more than me. All right, so Lieutenant, that means there's a Wi-Fi on the train. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be Wi-Fi on the trains and stuff like that. They're thinking about that, yeah, they, yeah, they are thinking about that, yeah. But they do have it to a point that it, it communicates back to the hub of the CTA, where they control all the rail cars and have all the information. But would it be available to the passengers? That's what they're looking at and doing for everybody also. So just want to let you guys know, um, 
to stay within the walkways. So we have actual walkways on the production floor. Um, so just want you guys to be aware of those and to stay within those lines. And we also do have caution tape and caution signs and labels on the floor. Just be aware of everything and moving parts. We don't have many uh, forklifts or anything in the way, so you guys should be fairly safe on the production floor. So right now we're going to have um, Brunel, mm -hmm. Turner, say a few words, and then we're going to put our glasses on and take a tour on the floor. So really quickly, guys, I want you to know who I am. My name is Miss Gurnell Turner, and I work for Youth Guidance, okay? So my role at Youth Guidance is to manage workforce partnerships. I want you guys, I'm so glad you're here today. You guys have so many great questions. I want you to focus on the presentation and the facility today here with CRRC because they have lots of great things to show you and how real cars are made. But I also want you all to know that Youth Guidance has an opportunity for you to intern this summer with the CTA. You guys have amazing questions lights and technology to prevent people from getting hit by trains. These are things CTA needs your input on. And they have a wonderful opportunity. Uh, your BAM counselor, Mr. Randy, is gonna give you more information about it next week. But there's a wonderful opportunity for you to intern with CTA this summer <laughs> at their corporate headquarters downtown. There's a whole process. You can apply for the job, interview with me uh, at your school. We'll, we'll, Mr. Randy will give you more information about that next week. But I just want you guys to know that, you know, you have an opportunity to like work with CTA and give them your input and your feedback on all these great things that you're thinking about today. So I just wanted to give you guys that tidbit and I'll be here with you to enjoy the tour, okay? Thank you. Here we go. No problem. They don't I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, I look. Oh, I look. Oh, 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 oh,
the transfer uh, table through the means of that crab. It's called a zephyr, uh, short crab. Now that pulls the rail cart in and out, it moves it from one rail to another, but this transfers from different sized rails. So every station here is, is, is for a, a specific reason. So different work is going to be done on different at different stations and different groups of people are going to be working on at different stations. So as we get more into production, uh, this this whole facility might be filled with rail cars. So uh, what are the dummy things for the if they, like, if they like transport like from different stations? When we get the rail car, there's no wheels on it. It's on a truck. So we lift it off the truck and we put it on the dummy wheels so they can roll on the 